Uh, what's up guys, uh, I've been installing this Dakota, Dakota digital gauges, uh, I have the BHX. I want to show you guys on the wiring, uh, it's a 1988 GMC Suburban, so I have the harness right here. I wanted to make this video to explain a little bit of uh, on the colors, on uh, what they mean, because for square bodies what I've been finding is that uh, uh, they change quite a bit on the, on the colors or the positions so this harness i have right here is for the dash the uh, the cluster it goes from one to nine and on this side it goes to from 10 to 19 18 i'm sorry and uh it's keeping number 14 doesn't have anything so i grabbed some color codes uh i've been a while on the internet researching it and i found some uh, really helpful uh pages so I wrote them down right here. Number one, number one will be um, light green. That's for the high beam. Number two, illumination. It's a gray one. It's a gray wire. Uh, number three, we have ground. Number four, uh, we have a 12 volt kit. That's a pink wire with a, with a black stripe. That's the power one. Uh, number five, we have the oil pressure, uh, this solid one. Uh, this one, we're not gonna be using it anymore. We have a new oil pressure uh, uh, sensor. Number six, we have a uh, key power. That's the pink one uh, with the black wire. I mean, black stripe. Okay, number seven, we have fuel gauge. Number seven is a solid pink cable. That is for the sending unit. So this one, uh, loops over to number 18 number eight we have another ground another ground right here and the one on the very edge number nine uh, we have water temperature which is dark green uh this one we're not gonna be using it as well we're gonna we, we have a new 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 sensor new switch for that one and in the back we have number 10 we have a ground number 11 we have left turn signal which is a uh, light blue number 12 right turn signal uh, dark blue number 13 seba the yellow one which i don't know I, we're not gonna use it but i i, ha I have no idea why they came with a with a seba wire i don't know what it does if someone can explain to me i appreciate it uh, leave it down in the comments um number 15 service engine ground um that's for the for the check engine light and it's gonna be this dark really dark brown with a white stripe number 15 we have another kid pink um pink wire with a with a black uh, black stripe and 17 brake warning on my uh, harness i have two wires coming into the harness what I did is just cut them, uh, put them together, and from there just run a single wire to my to my control box. Number 18, like I said before, is uh, it's uh, the fuel uh, sending unit. Uh, we got all those. I hope it can help someone because um, I had trouble finding it. Something what I did is um, on the pink wires, the 12V uh, kid. Um, I put them together, all three of them, and from there I run two new wires that I'm gonna be using for my control box. So only two of them. I did the same thing with the um, with the ground wires. I I got a three one ground wires, but I just put them together, and from there on I just run my my two wires that I needed. So now let's go to the let's go to the control box and and show you what I've uh, what I done. It's pretty simple. The ones you wanna watch out for is uh is the uh the pink and uh black stripe that's your your ignition uh wires you you got want to be careful and not put them in the wrong spot um I'm, i think it will mess up but uh, you always gotta be careful uh double check um i'll show you the the temperature uh, on the top we have a fuel sand the fuel sand we're gonna be um uh, put in uh, the pink wire right there which is 
number seven and 18 wire on on the fuel send the fuel negative i still don't know um the my truck st started right up without uh connecting this one i'm just running it to the back i think it says something different for for uh electrical um fuel pumps but it's working so far so it, it's it is only running this pink wire to the fuel send and i'm not i'm not hooking up this one to anything yet so it might be different on your application if you have a an outside uh, fuel pump or carbureted an exterior one um and then uh it's just grounded from the chassis to the to the fuel tank okay number um the oil sending the oil i'll show you where i put the um where i put the the sensors uh, in the engine but um the oil is pretty simple red white and then black and uh the bare wire go together uh water is pretty simple red and, and black um adjust that's the switch that comes with it so um switch two is green switch one is um a red and then uh, we have adjust negative, uh, which is the black one, and adjust send. Uh, we don't we don't do anything right here. Might be different on your application, but that's how I have mine. Um, speedometer. I installed a new speedometer as well. It's pretty simple. Um, black uh, ne negative, speed and negative, and then and then white and red. All right. Uh, warning I don't have any um, I run a cable I still haven't uh, connected it I think I I'm gonna get some help from my mechanic uh, this one is for the for the warning I'm not sure how to do it uh, exactly uh, tach tachometer I run a new wire to the to the um, to the engine and I'll show you where I connected my tachometer um, accessory power that would be one coming from the 12v kit the pink uh, with black stripe and ground is uh, a ground like I, sh I, I told you earlier um, on the dim on the dim we're gonna be putting um, our our gray wire which is uh, illumination number two number two wire goes on them check engine check engine will be a uh, 15 and uh, wire number 15 uh, break break will be number 17 high uh, we don't need the high one and uh, we go one wire goes to the back to the to the GS uh, 3000 for the shifter. Uh, the cruise control, I still gotta do something about it. Um, I, I need a I, I run a, a wire, but I haven't connected. I need to look for the ground for the cruise control. And then we go on to the back. Okay, on the back uh we have a uh, an ignition from the pink uh wire with the black stripe and uh and ground which is the grounds that we're using the ones i put together um and then we got our our wire uh coming from the shifter which it will be right here pretty simple red green and black it's a pretty sim simple uh, plug and play. I think the most important is this harness. The colors, uh, the positions change in, uh, in in different years in square bodies. They're they're kind of weird. And I have an 88, so my my engine is uh, is TBI. It's not non carburetor anymore. So now let's go let's go to the water pressure switch. I have it right here. I got the old wire i mean i got the new that's the old wire and uh that's a new sensor the one that they recommend that comes with the kit i'll, I'll post my uh, uh my link in the description um 
if you if you guys want to get the same thing i'm running on it is the vhx uh series that's for our water temperature we got our oil sensor our oil sensor will be back here uh behind the distributor so you have to take off the distributor cap and uh and find it it's really tight in there i think you can relo relocate it and look somewhere else but i just uh i wasn't sure since this is my first time doing it i wanted to use the the same spot and i got something really important on that one i had a lot of trouble um finding something to remove it so i found this basin wrench uh home depot or lowe's hardware store uh you'll find it and uh it's really simple to take it off with this one i had i was having really trouble because those sensors originally are really hidden behind it and it's hard to, it's really hard to reach it so that's another sensor uh the other one is this speedometer uh let me show you let me go get down here we're gonna find it We're gonna find it right here, guys. That's the, uh, that's the sp a speedometer uh, for the speed. And we got our wires already uh, hooked up. I think it's pretty simple, plug and play. You just gotta be careful with the 12V. So this is our tach tachometer. Um, I grabbed it from the ignition ignition coil from that wire and uh, from there it goes straight to the control box it used it uh it uh previously had this uh, little connector uh, on there it comes like that from factory I believe and I just caught it and just put them together all right guys I put it to back together and uh, we're gonna see how these gauges look like are you ready? All right. So, uh, the only problem I have is that the check engine light and the and that little info light is uh, they stay on. I was reading on the manual, and it says that I have to connect a light to the. ECU something like that so that's kind of out of my hands and uh, I gotta uh, see how to how to fix that problem or or get some some help but there they are they're uh, really nice I, I really like them that makes a great difference these are the uh, VHX uh, with the uh, white background <laughs> 